morning, everybody. It's time to wake up and let's do our makeup. everybody welcome back to my channel how are you doing today i hope you are having a lovely wonderful monday morning my name is stephanie i'm also known as glitzy gem thank you for joining me here today so today is makeup monday ladies there are um a few creators or you know more than a few creators that um do makeup mondays on a monday morning so glad that you are here thank you for you know watching my video thank you for uh, being here so for those who are new to my channel if you haven't done so please subscribe also hit the notification bell and give my video a thumbs up and for those who are returning subscribers welcome back so and um so makeup monday ladies is basically you know ladies getting together and creating makeup looks for you guys you know who love to do makeup who are into makeup who are beginners in makeup or her or those who are more advanced in makeup and they just love to watch these kind of videos this is a, this is the content and the channel for you to come to watch along with the other ladies so i'll be linking down below and there's a uh, other ladies are, that do makeup monday ladies on mondays when they can so i suggest that you go into my description area go click on everybody's channel give them a like you know show them some love and um yeah you, you just might you know want to follow them so in these makeup monday videos it's so uh there's so many things that you can do in these videos whether it be how to apply your foundation skin care um makeup and then eyeshadow i like to i like to do eyeshadows on makeup mondays i think those are the i think that's what really i like you know the most out of doing my makeup what is your favorite thing to do out of your makeup? You know, whenever you're putting on your makeup, what is the favorite part of doing your makeup? Is it applying your foundation, your bronzer, your eyeshadow, doing your brows? You let me know in the comments down below what you, what are your favorite, what are your favorite, what is your favorite part of doing your makeup? My favorite part of doing my makeup is actually my eyeshadow palette I already did all my complexion products on if you want to know what they are uh, there I have affordable makeup on me you know affordable makeup that you're able to uh, purchase you know online uh, the foundation I'm wearing is by Muse Cosmetics in the shade Caribe I'm also using the Lottie London eyebrow pencil and the Sephora brow gel I'm actually using um, the Milani primer you can get it at, at any convenience store, Walgreens, Walmart. Um, I'm also wearing, um, I'm not wearing a blush yet, but I will be putting on a blush because I do need a blush. Um, I'm wearing a lip gloss that came in one of my Ice Cream Beauty boxes and the lip liner I got in one of my Ipsy Boxy Charm by Ipsy uh, Shop. So all of the makeup, I'm wearing Kylie Jenner's uh, bronzing bronzer and then the only one that is name brand is the um the mario the uh makeup by mario uh contour that's what i'm wearing right now so pretty much that's the only name brand product that i have on and then the other name brand or i'm not sure this name brand or indie brand the juvia's place the bronze rustic palette i'll be using this to create an eye look with you guys it'll be my first time so this is new makeup to me but uh, I know it's been out for a while, but uh, I can't wait to create a look with you guys and, you know, and listen and listen to whatever you want to share with me about your, about your day, about your weekend. I uh, hope you got to watch my Sassy Divas video yesterday. We do have a giveaway going on in that one. So if you haven't done so, go take a look at it and watch it. All right. So here is the palette. real pretty really nice rustic shade and let me see the colors oh wow here are the colors oh that terracotta is calling my name that red color right there is calling my name guys it is calling my name 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start using, start creating a look with you guys. Yeah, um, tell me a little bit about y'all's weekend. Did y'all do anything special? Um, do y'all have anything planned this week? Anything special planned this week? Do you, um, um, are you having a good Monday morning? I think I already asked that. And like, I think I asked if I had any plans. Do you plan on going anywhere this week? Is it payday for, for some of you guys this week? Is it payday? What do you plan on doing for payday? So right now I'm just using the very nice flesh toned shade that I have here in the corner of this palette. This one has no mirror. Sorry for that noise. This cornered one, I'm using this corner eyeshadow. Uh, there's no mirror in this palette, so give me one second while I pick this up. Alright, so that was a long way down, but uh, nonetheless, I am here. I am here and I'm just, I'm just shading in my eyes with that flesh tone shade. And like I said, you guys, you know what you've been up to. Do you have this palette by Juvia's Place? Or is this something that y'all might have missed or skipped out on that y'all really kind of kick yourselves in the butt for not getting it? It's a really nice palette, guys. Really nice colors. Juvia's Place has a really nice formula. That's what I do got to say about Juvia's Place. It's a woman-owned brand. Ugh, oh, love it. And, um, yeah, just so wonderful. There's a lot of wonderful things about you know a lot of wonderful things to say about Juvia's Place. Not only is it a good brand, it also has um, their pigments are very nice, and their formula is very workable, and they're very blendable shades. Go ahead and go in with that mahogany brown in the palette. This is a really nice six pen palette, real easy to use. Um, I don't think anybody would have any issue. I believe this palette is a practical palette to use. You know, beginners can use this palette. It only has six pans in there. You can use just one shade, two shades out of this palette. It is so practical. You know, the colors are not that, they're they're vibrant. You know, you have that one vibrant color, but you can make it work. And all the other colors are very, are very muted and, you know, and you're able to work with them as well. So, so I do believe this palette is very practic practical to use. That is my thing now on Makeup Monday, ladies. You know, when I when I start to wear new makeup or when I'm, you know, creating another eye look, doing a tutorial with you guys and showing you and showing you what I'm putting on my lids. I, I do got to say, you know, now I'm starting to like kind of give you an idea of what kind of palettes are very practical to use and which ones are a little harder to work with because for the simple fact that some of them are out of my wheelhouse and they get very intimidating to work with. Maybe it's easy for you guys to work with bright colors, but for me, it's very challenging 
but nonetheless I try to overcome that overcome that fear <laughs> or uh, not fear more of like having that negativity mindset that that it's not going to turn out, <laughs> that my look is not going to turn out like I want it to because it's just out of my wheelhouse. So that shouldn't be in my vocabulary. I should feel confident even when, mo even when times you don't feel confident. You know, you have to tell yourself or become confident. You got to muster... You gotta muster it up. You gotta muster up some of that boldness, as some say. You gotta muster, muster it up some boldness. You know, so that's what I do. You know, when it comes to makeup, <laughs> you gotta muster up some boldness with that as well. Especially when using colors that intimidate you a little. But uh, this is this is what Makeup Monday, ladies, is all about. Everybody has a different story to tell you different experiences to tell you makeup monday ladies also do mask mondays you might see one this yep, this evening i like to do mine in the afternoon because that's when i wind down after work and uh that's my that's my place of just relaxing it's usually in the evening so i don't do any in the morning i like to do my makeup in the morning because i go to work in the morning Oh, this is such a beautiful color story. Don't you think? Look at that. It's turning out real pretty. Really nice, rustic. Really nice and rustic. That's what I meant to say. All right. I'm so glad you were able to join me here today. All right. So the next shade I want to go ahead and use is, I'm going to use some of this mustard shade to mustard mustard for mustard mustard mustarding up some boldness mustard let me say mustard shade in the inner crease or inner lid yeah there we go yeah that's yeah that's nice look at that guys just put it on the lid apply it on the lid it looks really nice If y'all watch any good movies lately, let me know. What is your all-time favorite movie? Tell me what is your all-time favorite movie, so I can go, so I can check it out if I haven't seen it, and let me know what movies I should go watch that y'all would recommend. Um, any new movies or even any new movies that came up, that came out that you would suggest that I should watch or. Movies that y'all might have seen in the past five or six years that I may not have seen, but it was a good, a good movie. I would like to check. I would like to check it out. I would love to check it out. So the next shade I want to put on here is a. It's gonna be a shimmer. These are all matte shades, guys. So beautiful. These shades are so beautiful. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put some at the bottom, on my bottom lash line. So I'm going to clean my brush so I can use, go back with some of this brown shade here and go at the bottom of my lash line. This is a really nice formula, guys. Louis Place never has never disappointed me with their formula. They're always standing strong with the, the formula they use. I'm going 
to use a clean brush. Okay, there it goes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use the, we use this shade here for highlight, inner corner highlight and for the eyebrow bone. This gold shade there. Wow, beautiful brow bone, brow bone area here. Really nice. inner corner wow that is rustic guys okay now I'm gonna go ahead and use this like mauvey brown light shimmer on this on the center of my eyes and I like to use my finger with that so let me Kind of do my finger a bit in the center, dab it in there in the center. Wow, yeah, I like that subtleness. It's not, it doesn't just like take over the look, it's just very subtle. I like that. <laughs> Excuse me. Very subtle. Very subtle, very subtle. On the lid. Wow. Okay, there it goes. All right, you guys, I'm going to come off camera, finish the rest of my eye look, and I'll be right Leave me your comments down below. Anything you'd like to share, I'd be willing to hear. I'd be willing to hear you out. So here is my palette. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in my next video. Love you all. Bye. Take care. Mwah.